I went to a Canadian Premier League game, and this was my experience. Actually, before I talk about that, I should probably explain what the Canadian Premier League is, since I'm sure many of you watching don't know. The Canadian Premier League is the top flight of professional soccer, or football, here in Canada. They are a member of CONCACAF, which is the governing body of professional soccer in North America. You might be familiar with these three teams, Vancouver Whitecaps FC, Toronto FC, and CF Montreal. These are major league soccer teams, not CPL teams. Although, sometimes they might face off against CPL teams. Anyways, here are where the Canadian Premier League teams are on a map. There are eight teams right now, but the league has its sights set on future expansion. My local team is Pacific FC, which is based in Langford, which is part of the Greater Victoria area. But they market themselves as being Vancouver Island's team. At the end of the regular season, the top four teams in the CPL standings make the playoffs, with the first seed playing the fourth seed and the second seed playing the third seed. That means that Pacific FC's opponent for the semi-final round was Atletico Ottawa. Like many soccer leagues around the world, each round is done in two legs, with the lower-seeded team playing the first leg at home. And that is the game I went to. So without further delay, enjoy the vlog, kinda. So, I got my Pacific FC hat on, just waiting for the bus, I'm gonna head to the stadium. It's gonna be close timing though, but whatever, it's alright. But it wasn't alright. You know why? You wanna know why? Because this bus right here WENT BY MY STOP WITHOUT STOPPING! Alright, so this stupid bus driver just went right past my stop without even stopping. I'm guessing they were full, but like still, they weren't even like displaying that on the bus or anything. So I had to walk down that street, which has no sidewalk, to this bus stop. And uh, yeah, hopefully second time will be better. Thankfully it was 23 degrees Celsius, which is like unusually warm for October. But yeah, around eight minutes later, another bus came and I was able to get on. But this bus was packed, let me tell ya. This is the bus that connects the ferry terminal to downtown, so it's always busy. I had to awkwardly stand in the stairwell, but thankfully some people got off at the next stop, so I was able to find a seat. And after I got off that bus, I had to transfer to another one, which would take me to Lankford. Yeah, the stadium's a bit inconvenient for me to get to, but whatever. At least we get to bypass traffic in the bus lane. So, a half hour later, I finally arrived. This is Starlight Stadium, home to Pacific FC. So right off the bat, you can notice it's pretty small. It only has 6,000 seats, and I mean, this is Vancouver Island after all, you can't expect any world-class venues. It was upgraded for the 2019 season, which is when the CPL began. Right now, I think it's adequate, but it would be nice to see it expand in the future. Anyways, let me show you where I sat. I was sitting in the supporters section, where the main support group, the Lakeside Boys, congregate. And let me tell you, these guys bring the noise to this little stadium. Yeah, not bad. Anyways, here's a few uninterrupted seconds of game footage so you can get a feel for what the general atmosphere and experience was like. What's cool is that there's a lot of standing room right next to this fence, so you can get right up close and personal with the action. Of course, there is the risk of getting hit in the head with a ball, but whatever, that's part of the fun. Starlight Stadium has artificial turf which extends into the spectators area. Personally, I prefer real grass, but that's just me. I guess artificial turf is better for the spectators area because you don't have to worry about getting muddy shoes, but I think for the playing field, grass is the way to go. 
The first half ended scoreless, so I decided to wander around the stadium a bit. When they renovated this stadium for professional soccer, they didn't really have a lot of space to work with, so the concourses, and I'm using air quotes when I say that, are pretty narrow. But at least the new seating they were able to install looks sick. Really captures the West Coast feel. They were able to turn this parking lot into a plaza area. It's nice they were able to work with what they had. And it gets the job done. I would play the audio from the clip, but there's Pitbull playing and I don't want to get this video demonetized. There's the new seating I was talking about. There's also general admission benches right in front of it. New seating was also installed on the south side of the pitch. Starlight Stadium also has 18 VIP suites. Since it was the playoffs, I had to grab some new merch to go along with my hat. What's interesting is that the team store is in a shipping container. I decided to buy a purple scarf for $15. Alright, so this is what the scarf looks like when it's put on. I think it looks pretty sick. This outdoor area is pretty spacious. It even has a fountain which looks really nice, and I love the plants. You can also see that there's a concession stand right under the seats. They have hot dogs, beer, all that stuff you can expect to find at a sporting event. And the concessions aren't the only place you can get food. Nice, I got a food truck. With the second half of the game starting, I decided to return to my seat. Well, technically I didn't sit for the entire game. I opted to stand by the fence. So unfortunately, Starlight Stadium doesn't have any permanent seating north of the pitch. And that's because there are these power lines that go right through the stadium. Hopefully one day that gets changed. That wooden structure in the distance is where one of the TV cameras is. Every CPL game is televised nationally on one soccer, which is great. And Pacific FC has a mascot, Stewie Starfish. The supporters even made a song about him, and he does backflips. to see a goal before this game ends. Perhaps I should have chosen my words more carefully. Because shortly after I said that, Atletico Ottawa got on the board. Tabla opens the scoring with a huge goal for the visiting side. Anyways, here's some more of the stadium. There are some picnic benches and some more general admission seating. I found a place where I was able to see the players up really close. Here's one of the TV camera operators. As the sun sets, it really allows you to appreciate the scenery around the stadium. They don't call it beautiful British Columbia for nothing. Unfortunately for me and the rest of the home supporters, Atletico Ottawa would add a second goal. 2-0 would be the final score of the first leg. At least these visiting Ottawa fans were happy. I stayed until the final whistle blew, knowing that this would be the last soccer game I attended of 2022. As the sun set over Vancouver Island, the Pacific FC supporters left Starlight Stadium for the last time this season. 
At the time this video is being uploaded, the Pacific Faithful are awaiting the second leg of this round. Pacific FC will have to outscore Atletico Ottawa by three goals or more in order to advance. That's pretty unlikely, but win or lose, I still had fun cheering on Pacific this season. Well, Pacific lost. That kind of sucks, but you know what? That's the gig with being a sports fan. You win some, you lose some. Still a fun experience overall. Until next year, Tridents. So, as I ride the bus home, I guess I should leave my closing thoughts. Soccer as a sport has undergone an impressive amount of growth in Canada over the past 15 years. We've gotten three MLS teams, our own domestic league, and our national team has qualified for the World Cup in Qatar. Going to games here in Canada is a fun time, and it's nice that you don't have to worry about getting murdered if you wear the wrong jersey. I hope that the Canadian Premier League continues to grow. And as for Pacific FC, well, I'm glad we have them. Greater Victoria is not that big, and it's great that we have a pro sports team to call our own. I plan on attending more Pacific games in the future, and hopefully their stadium expands in that time. I loved the passion that the supporters showed, just another reason why soccer crowds are second to none. Although admittedly, we in North America still have nothing on Europe. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.